Second category of reactions of disonium salts are coupling reactions. These are the reactions in which the diazo group is retained. Okay. So disonium salts readily undergo coupling reaction with electron rich compounds like phenols and amines. And give colored azo compounds. Okay. Colored azo compounds. Azo dyes are formed. Okay. Azo dyes are formed. Okay. These reactions are called as coupling reactions. Let us see one by one. First reaction. Ice cold solution of salt. That is uh, diazonium salt. Cold diazonium salt reacts couples with ice cold solution of phenol. Okay. So diazonium salt. Diazonium salt. So, diazonium chloride on reaction with phenol. Okay. In slightly, phenol is in slightly alkaline solution. Phenol. Coupling reaction takes place. Okay. Minus HCl. And the product will be. N2 OH azo dye is obtained. Okay, this is an orange dye and this is para hydroxy azo benzene. Para hydroxy azo benzene. This is an orange dye. Okay. So, ice cold solution of diazonium salt reacts with an alkaline solution which is also an ice cold solution of phenol gives para hydroxy azobenzene which is an orange dye. Okay. So, azo dye is obtained. Second reaction with amines that is with aniline. Diazonium chloride. On reaction with aniline. Okay. And gives NH2. Okay. The product will be para amino benzene. Para amino benzene will be obtained. Okay. This is an yellow dye. Okay. So an azo compound is obtained. This is the second reaction. Diazonium salt with aniline. Okay. Para amino benzene is obtained, which is an azo uh, yellow dye. Naso dye is obtained. Next reaction, preparation of methyl orange. This is an important product used in the laboratories. Okay, so diazonium salt of para amino sodium benzene sulfonate and NN dimethyl aniline in presence of an alkali, the reaction takes place and gives methyl orange. Okay, preparation of methyl orange. First, a compound. Para amino benzene sodium sulfate. Okay. This is para amino benzene sodium sulfate. Sulfonate. Okay. This first gets converted into diazonium salt by diacetization. Gets converted into is diazonium salt. N2 plus Cl minus NaSO3. Okay, NaSO3. Okay, so first para amino sodium benzene sulfonate diacetization, it gets converted into its diazonium salt. Then this on reaction with NN dimethyl anilin. NN dimethyl anilin. That is 
case of aniline, two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two methyl groups. So, this disonium salt on reaction with N and dimethyl aniline, the product obtained will be like this. NaSO3, okay. N2. And CH3 twice. This product is called as methyl orange. Okay. Methyl orange. It is which is an azo di. So an azo compound is obtained. Okay. Like this, different azo compounds are can be obtained from uh, disonium salt. Okay. This as this disonium salt acts as the intermediate and the coupling reaction takes place. Next importance of disonium salts in the synthesis of aromatic compounds okay importance of disonium salts in the synthesis of aromatic compounds okay We know that these disonium salts are very important intermediates in the preparation of aromatic compounds. So, they are the important tools in the hands of synthetic chemist. Okay. First important point, aryl halides can be prepared in their pure state, can be prepared in their pure state. With the help of disonium salt as intermediate, okay, the pure state, okay. In the case of aryl fluorides and uh, aryl iodides, they cannot be prepared by direct halogenation, okay. Aryl halides like aryl fluorides and aryl iodides, this cannot be prepared by direct halogenation. Okay, so with the help of this disonium salt which are used as intermediates, we can prepare aryl fluorides and aryl iodide. Next, cyano group cannot be introduced. Cyano group cannot be introduced directly or cannot be substituted directly from chlorobenzene. Cannot be substituted from chloro chlorine from chlorobenzene directly. So, for the preparation of cyano group into the chlorobenzene, we have to use disonium salt as intermediate. Another important point. Next, next is 1, 2, 3 tribromobenzene. Tribromobenzene cannot be prepared directly in their pure state from their uh, the from, cannot be prepared in their pure state by the direct bromination of benzene. It cannot be prepared, cannot be prepared from direct bromination. So, for this also, we have to use this disonium salt as intermediate. Okay. We have to prepare 1, 2, 3 dribromobenzene from para nitro aniline with the help of disonium salt. Okay, as intermediate. Para nitro aniline to dribromobenzene. How can we do this? Let us see the reaction. First, we have to take para, bro, para nitro aniline. aniline NH2 NO2. This is para nitro aniline. First, on bromination, like this, two bromo groups are get attached to this compound. Okay. Next, uh, direct bromination, we cannot be prepared tribromobenzene. So, first we have to do diacetization. Okay. Diacetization. First, diacetization. NaNO2. It's here. Okay. And then second process we have to add CUBR, copper bromide and HBR, Sandmeyer's reaction. So 
first step diacetization then sandmeyer's reaction we will get compound like this bromine is attached so first n2c nh2 gets converted into n2 plus cl minus then uh, on reaction with cubr that no2 n2cl is replaced by substituted by bromine okay next on reduction no2 gets converted into nh2 with the help of tin reduction takes place compound like this okay NH2. This will be the compound. Next, we have to remove this NH2. So, for that, first again, we have to diacetization. Do, uh, uh, diacetization. So, N NH2 gets converted into N2 plus Cl minus. Then, next step, reaction with H3PO2. That is, replacement by, uh, by hydrogen. Okay. Second step. So, what will happen? This NH2 gets removed and the product will be tribromobenzene. Like this, we can prepare tribromobenzene in their pure state. We cannot prepare tribromobenzene by direct bromination of benzene. Okay. Next, 4 nitro toluene to 2 bromobenzoic acid. 4 nitro toluene. 2 bromo benzoic acid. How can we convert? How can we obtain 2 bromo benzoic acid from 4 nitro toluene? First, 4 nitro toluene. Toluene. NO2. 4 nitro toluene. Okay. First, bromination. CH3 NO2 here bromine will substitute okay next on reduction NO2 is reduced to NH2 okay CH3 Br NH2 okay next we have to remove this NH2 group so for that first we have to do diacetization Okay, then replacement by replacement by hydrogen atom. For that we have to add fluoroboric acid H3PO2. Okay, so what will happen? NH2, NH2 is removed from the compound. Okay, then next oxidation in presence of KMnO4 or hydrolysis in presence of KMnO4. CH3 gets oxidized to COOH. So, we will get 2 bromo benzoic acid will be 